Whoa, sun. So, it's a vlog day. It's a bit different today, it's Tuesday. I don't usually do vlogs on Tuesday, but this week is so hectic, we kind of have to start early. So, what's happening this week is the Dave Benson Caravan Show in Adelaide. And, um, yeah, been given this unique opportunity, actually. Um, usually like to go to, right, all the shows that I've gone to with Dash Off Road before, and <laughs> excuse all the rattling in the background, that's all the stuff for the show in the car. But um, I go as a content creator, which is great, because you go for free, but like you don't go to sell stuff. You go there to, um, you know, essentially they give you free access so you, you can bring people to the, to the show. Uh, and, um, you know, it's good publicity for your channel and all that sort of stuff. Um, this one's a little bit different. Um, so this one is, uh, I'm actually going as an exhibitor, like the Dave Benson guys have cut us a deal where it's a really easy way for us to dip our toe in the water as a, as a business and, um, and go and for the first time we'll be able to, you know, take our wares and potentially, you know, sell products and uh, we're, we're going to try and not be so pigeonholed into just patrol stuff, but um, like generic so we can, you know, we're a, a tough dog dealer so we can do any tough dog suspension and airbags and um, Sabre and all of that sort of generic stuff that all four -wheel drivers and people that tow are going to uh, want and yeah, go and wave the dash and 4x4 DNA flag. So we'll see how that goes. Talking about the other shows though, the content creator ones, and especially for, um, you know, the, the, the side tracks of the world, the Ronnie Dials, the uh, heaps of other like content creators, Fire to Fork, uh, these are just the ones top of lapping the island, all the ones that I watch on YouTube. Um, when they go to these shows, they make such a massive effort to get there. I don't know if you guys realize, you know, you don't get paid to go to a show at like the Perth or the Sydney or Adelaide one as a content creator. They just like invite you, but you got to get there yourself, uh, pay your own way. Um, often you, you know, getting the your car detailed. Um, often you're actually trying to, you know, make your car impressive by doing a whole heap of stuff to it, like uh, <laughs> getting as many gold billet items as you can, or, or um, you know, the sidetrack guys are building a car. I know Ronnie Dahl has built a, a, a Land Cruiser for the East Coast. Uh, Fire to Fork has built a Delicia, I think that's how you pronounce it, which I've always loved those cars for, for the East Coast shows. So there's like a huge amount of effort, dollars and everything goes into um, going to a show. So I, I guess my point of all this is when you do go to the show and um, you see these guys selling merch and whatever and you, you kind of like it, um, like buy their merch, absolutely get their merch because it really helps their channels and my channel too, by the way. Um, you know, of course I've got a different way to um, monetize what I do on YouTube, but it's a, uh, um, you gotta buy clothes anyway. You're gonna buy a hoodie anyway. Go and buy a sidetracked one. They're actually really good quality. <laughs> um, and, um, and get on board with these content creators. All right, so the rest of the vlog today is, I guess, a bit of a behind the scenes of showing what's involved in getting ready for this show. Like, I haven't done one as an exhibitor before, so I don't actually know myself, but I'll bring you along for the journey about, <laughs> you know, the logistics of getting stock there and um, <laughs> cleaning the cars and working it out, I suppose. All right, and I hope, like, when you come, if you're in Adelaide, uh, if you get a chance this uh, Wednesday to Sunday, uh, come down and say good day. I'll be there. Um, Steve's going to be down there on the weekend, and yeah, come and have a chat to us about our cars and towing and all those questions that you know you put in the comments. You can come and ask face to face. All right, here's the day. All right, a little bit of bonus content regarding Goldie over here. Uh, I am at Big O, there's no sign for me to show off. Anyway, I'm at Big O and talking about show things, so it is in theme, uh, what we do to try and get things and cars built to go to shows. So, you know what's coming, Navara update. I'll turn the camera around and I'll show you what's happening. Hasn't been much lately, but it's, you know, life's busy. All right, there it is. The poor nav, leash is inside now. But this engine, like it is, it fits. So many people have been asking about it. 
it fits. Excuse the uh, spaghetti on top, but she's in, she's tight, it's on engine mounts, it's bolted in, it's like we are looking good. I'll put the light on the GoPro here so we can see a bit more. How good can I do this? It's almost like it was meant to happen. Look at that. There's the sump just in front of the cross member there. Like, it's like someone said that is meant to happen. Trans is in. That's the patrol trans. And I'll see if I can run around the other side here. Can I get that side? No. This side? Oh, hell no. All right, we'll go back this way. And we'll have a look underneath. So... Oh, where'd my light go? See if I can get more light under it. There we go. Transfers in, that's the Navara transfer. And it's just basically a bit of a tail shaft issue to sort out now. But that's doable. Like, we're happening. Like, it is happening. Oh, that light's bright. So the plan is, and it's a plan only, but we'd like to take this car to the November Adelaide show running, driving in. Um, Andrew's going to spend next week on it. He promises me and uh, we'll, he's hiding <laughs> and we'll get it started. So uh, there's the update. Very exciting. Looks like I'm like, <laughs> looks like I'm first one here. I haven't even turned the lights on yet. A lot of caravans. I wouldn't mind checking some of these out myself. So here we go, we're in. Steve's giving it a little bit of a spit and polish to make it look good. <laughs> Trying to work out the dimensions and the space and how this is all gonna work. It's quite tricky when you put like these big cars in here, it takes up a fair bit of space. But um, yeah, that's right window front so that worked out all right um, now we've just got to get all the the stock in and the banners and everything like that but um oh and cleaning so i had my car cleaned and then had to drive it home last night so i could come here silly me <laughs> it's filthy it rained on the way home last night steve was smart left his car at work and drove it in this morning so i'll be doing a lot of cleaning and steve will be doing a little bit of cleaning Oh, it's been like a lot of cleaning and a lot of moving stock around the place, but I think we're just about ready. Just a few little final touches, and um, I'll show you what the stand's looking like. And keep in mind, I've never done this before. So, all right, we've got, um, as you walk in, obviously you see the car, got the rumba display, going around checking out the patrol. I've put a couple of extra PSI in the rear airbags to just look, make it look a little bit tougher. Um, yeah, heaps of winches, tripping over stuff. A uh, bit of merch. We've never really made an effort to sell merch, so we're going to do that for once at a show. Uh, we've got a Sabre display, which I've yet to set up, but we've got Andrew, the Sabre rep, coming down tomorrow, as in Wednesday. He's going to, you know, help educate um, customers about recoveries and that sort of thing, so that'll be good. Uh, as we go around, Tough Dog, and we are Tough Dog dealers now, so you don't just have to have a patrol. Uh, you can have any type of car, and we can do uh, Tough Dog Suspension, and a lot of the other sort of generic-y sort of things. Um, Max tracks, heaps of LED lighting, and of course, I think, oh, airbags, and talk at exhaust. So I've got lots of things to talk about if you come down, and at the same time, if you're gonna make the effort to come and see me, you might as well come and check out Homer 12 Volt behind me here. So they've brought all of their goodies as well. Say hi, Al. Um, <laughs> all things 12 Volt, and I guess one last thing, if you want to buy a caravan, there's heaps here. I wouldn't be surprised if this might be the most expensive show I've attended because I'll end up buying one of these things. There's a very nice one down the back. So um, I think we're just about ready. How good is that? 
Cats and Caravans, completely undercover show is go. Big Brands, Network RV, Essential Caravans, Highline Caravans, Cup Camper Trailers, on display and on sale. Manufacturers reps on hand offering special show deals like these. Plus, every unit purchase gets a $1,000 fuel card. Home of 12 volt Australanix's Permaguard Protection and Dash Off-Road. Exciting attractions and displays, entry and parking free. Five days only, starts 27th of July and Sunday 31st. Dave Benson Caravan, 64 Grand Junction Road, Kilburn. Well, that's the ad. Uh, now I've just got to go see if this whole little experiment works. So um, come and see us down at the show. We'll be there from tomorrow through to Sunday. And um, yeah, I'll see what's got to happen I'll, <laughs> in, in exhibitor life. You know, I guess if this works out, we might be able to do some of the bigger shows around the country. Who knows? All right, well, thanks for watching and we'll see you again on YouTube. Yeah, yeah.